Good morning guys, so it's like 7.30 a.m. I woke up from the bed. There was a hummingbird. Uh, it's 7.30 a.m. and it was cloudy and raining when I woke up at 5 for sunrise. So I just decided to sleep in. Uh, it was very warm. I just wore the jacket to go out and set up a fire. But check out this view. There is one heck of a view to wake up to. Alright, I already have a fire going. Let's get freshened up and then we'll see what we are gonna do. So I'm just heating up some water. Um, some campsites have showers and some are much more primitive is the right word I'd guess. Uh, especially in Opiming, they have mostly pit toilets and there are no showers and there's barely any cell signal here which it's very nice it's feel like you're in a forest well it, you are in a forest uh, but a good way to freshen up is to heat up water and then give yourself a sponge bath basically so I'm gonna do that then I'm gonna drink some tea and maybe we'll go take bird photos So I'll sit by the fire, enjoy my tea, then maybe I'll uh, a bit later probably have some breakfast and then get ready to leave here. Uh, my plans depend on whether my friends will be joining me today, so let's see how everything goes. So I just picked up a gigantic bundle of firewood from the Nopi Ming Lodge. It's $15. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, let's get a fire going and then start cooking breakfast. Uh, my friends are supposed to join me. I don't know if they will. Uh, I'm sorry if this vlog has been me just cooking and eating, but I just wanted to have a, have a relaxing time. And then uh, I also wanted to wait till my friends come here to go see some cool places. If they don't come, I'm leaving in about 2-3 hours. Uh, we'll go visit some places and then head home, but I'm hoping they'll come. Anyways, let's start cooking.
Okay, so my friends won't be coming. Um, I'm gonna pack up and head towards the lobby. We'll see what we can explore and then head back home. Um, it's a huge mess, so I'm gonna just take everything out and repack it in a way that it makes a little bit of sense at least. So I got everything arranged for the most part, um, stacked the firewood, camera stuff, the chairs, and that's tools. Um, what I did was I packed all the dishes that needed thorough washing into one bag, and all my clothes into another. That way I just have to take two bags upstairs when I go back home. Um, just have to get this part cleaned up and then we'll get out of here. So it's always a good idea to come back and do a final check to make sure you didn't leave anything important behind and also to make sure you didn't leave anything behind like garbage things like that without disposing of them I usually empty this but I'm not entirely sure if it's gone out completely so I'm gonna I moved it to a side and left it there Once you are sure the side is empty, you can head out. I have aired down quite a bit, as you can see. To account for the road conditions, uh, this is something you should do at your own risk because it can screw up the tire. It will be a comfier ride, but expense of your tires and your product your suspension too. Back towards Tulabi we go. This is the Nopiming Lodge. There's firewood, there's all sort of stuff there and then the people there are pretty nice. So check it out if you come here.
normally you can go right up there and just thinking twice about doing it alone so that cliff over there i think that's the one where you can do cliff jumping uh, it's one of these i think i'm pretty sure it's that one when the water is warmer you can do that place is usually packed in summer with boats, canoes going out and kids playing in the beach. So we are heading to Booster Lake. It's just eight minutes from here. Uh, I want to check that out too since I'm here. It's still only 12.45. I'm not in a rush to leave. So we're leaving Tulabi, heading to Booster Lake and then I don't know. Let's go and see. landing area too. It's nuts. Right, there's no bears or Bigfoot. Okay, so just leaving Booster Lake. Uh, it's very beautiful here, but I don't have enough time to spend here. Uh, I'm gonna start heading back home. Uh, so if there's anything interesting along the way, I will show you. Otherwise, this is it. Until next time. See ya. So this is Bird River. I couldn't show it yesterday because it was raining and there was traffic. So on our route back. Practically flew up that section of road. Hopefully, I didn't break anything. Well, it's time to air up those tires.
it's all aired up uh, the truck is very muddy as you saw uh, it's all highway now I'm heading home I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you